and welcome back to my channel learn with nikhil so in this lecture we are going to solve an another sum on isometric projection we have been given the front view and the top view we have to draw its isometric view so let's begin so first step all we will find the total width height and depth of the figure so the total width is 100 depth is 60 and height is 50 mm so with these three dimensions we will draw the rectangular box before drawing that first we will draw a straight horizontal line and we'll mark a point o on it so point o on it as you can see from point o this side will be 100 mm so on the right side i have left a much space to draw then from point o we will draw three angles that is 90 degree 30 degree and 30 degree we'll draw light lines through it this is the step we have to follow for each and every sum of isometric next we will mark the dimensions that is 100 mm on this line that is from point o on the right side we have 100 mm so here i am marking a point 100 mm height is 50 and the depth of the figure is 60 so now with these three dimensions we will draw the rectangular box drawing parallel lines through these points draw this box lightly so the advantage of drawing this box is that we will get to know that our whole isometric figure is enclosed in this box only so it will not go outside this box after drawing this box let's start with the sum first we'll start with the point o the total distance you can see we have a semicircle which has a gap it is totally drilled and then we have a dark line before drawing that you can see we have a dark line here so we'll draw this part first draw this line dark then this gap we have to find out first we will mark the center point of the semicircle that is 30 mm apart so the center point then the radius of the semicircle given is 18 mm so from the center 18 mm on both the sides i'll mark so 18 mm on this side and 80 mm on the other side now the remaining part you can join it dark this is dark and from here also it is dark here we will draw the semicircle later next you can see here you have a height of 30 mm at the end so we'll draw a dark line of 30 mm then it is inward from here it is inside the distance is given at the top this distance given is 60 mm so we'll mark a point 60 mm on the top side and then we'll intersect the lines so from here 60 mm we have a point take this line as a reference line and from this point 30 mm above we'll draw light line first then we'll make it dark as it intersects so we have to intersect it here also i'm drawing a light line and now i'll draw a dark line both intersecting it so this part is done now then you have like a extension from here you have an extension it is still here then you have a slant line now the extension distance is 30 as at the bottom it is given 30 so the remaining part is 30 so from here we'll draw a dark line till here 30 so then we have a slant line it is intersecting till the height of 20 so from here first i'll mark a dark line of 20 make this line dark then join this so our slant line automatically gets created now this slant line you can see here we have a rectangular box it is inward the distance given of the rectangular box and the center part you have a 30 so this remaining part will be 
15 and 15 as at the center is this 30 so the other two sides this distance is 15 and on the other side it is also 15 so first we will draw a light line from this point from here also we will draw light line as we have to mark 15 15 so marking it from here first I'll draw a dark line of 15 here also we'll have a dark line of 15 I'll just mark the point now we have an extension above before that we'll draw this land part drawing the parallel to this land So this part is done you can see this from the top view it is a rectangular box now this part it is extension forward so for drawing that extension forward take this as the reference line we'll draw from this point we'll join till the top from here we'll join till the top dark line so from here as well as from here and we'll join this same as this is a dark line you can see from the top view then you have to intersect till this point so taking this as the reference line from here we will draw a dark line intersecting here same do it from here join this dark and the slant line you have to draw it there also so taking this as the reference line we'll join the dark line here next now here you can see you have a dark line so there is a bend from here so taking this as the reference line we'll draw a dark line over here touching this part then we'll join this now here you can see this part is drawn next on the back side you can see here you have a depression the gap at the center is 20 so here the remaining part it is 20 20 20 each side is 20 as the total is 60 center is 20 and the other two sides will be 20 20 so we'll take this as a reference line from here I'll draw a light line and we'll mark the distance that is 20 then gap then 20 so from here 20 dark then you have a gap of 20 and after that again you have dark line of 20 after drawing these dark lines now we'll take this as a reference line take this as a reference parallel line and join these dark lines to this end as it is inwards now after this as you can see the gap is totally drilled from top to bottom it is totally drilled so there will be a cutting edge so this part will be a dark line as it is cut from top to bottom final this line will be dark we are done with the figure almost we have to draw this semicircle part now the semicircle radius given is 18 millimeter as you know the process we have to draw the square with the side as the diameter so first i have drawn these two parallel lines now from the center i'll mark a point 18 millimeter above and 18 millimeter below so this will be the one side of diameter now we'll take this as the reference line from this point I'll join this so we have created a square with the diameter join the longest diagonal and from the shorter ends we'll join at the midpoints or the other sides so marking the midpoints then joining to the shorter diagonal same from the midpoint joining the shorter diagonal same we'll do it here also same we'll do it here now take the compass 
we have to draw the semicircle so we require only two points so from here with this as the radius draw the curve and from here keep the pointer take this as the radius and draw the curve so with this we have drawn the semicircle now as the semicircle is totally drilled inside as you can see from the figure also it is the dotted is there so we have to draw this dark line as it's totally drilled inside you can see here the dotted lines so it is completely drilled and we are done with the figure just marking the dimensions mark the all the dimensions as given in the figure Thank you for watching do subscribe to my channel if you have any doubts any queries let me know in the comment section you can also connect with me on instagram